Now most of what is encircled completely by our own armed forces and it is under our control. So I think the plan is going uh, according to what we have planned before. Uh, in actual fact, it is, in our opinion, is quicker than what we thought it is going to be. Yes, ISIL or Daesh is a terrorist organization, ideologically motivated, uh, but we have seen the whole organization collapsing in terms of standing in the face of our own armed forces. Uh, the success of uh, liberating a huge area indicates that Daesh doesn't have the gut now or the motivation to fight as they were doing that before. So yes, I think the operation is on track and I'm hopeful that we liberate the city before the end of the year. Are you reassessing how this battle will be fought, especially your strategy of encouraging civilians to stay at home? This is the first time we're liberating a city or a place where civilians are staying at home. It's tough, it's difficult, because the security forces tell me they've been fired at from places where there are civilians, they cannot reply in, in, in kind. So this is a very tough thing. Daesh is using the civilians to, to instigate attacks on our own security forces. They're using car bombs in civilian areas, which is very tough. You cannot just fire at everyone and everybody in the city. You have to be very careful not to do mistakes, because our aim here is to win the minds and the hearts of the people. And we've been doing this. People were very welcoming to our security forces in these areas. Under your rule, the popular mobilization forces have grown in power as they have fought IS. But they also continue to be accused of committing abuses against Iraqi civilians. Moving forward, how do you plan to bring these groups under control to ensure the security of the Iraqi people? We are doing this. Um, if, you, if you look carefully now in the Mosul operation, I haven't received a single claim or incident against BMF, Public Mobilization Force. I have received some reports in, uh, in Fallujah, and we ha I have started a full investigation in that. I'm waiting for the final report on this. Uh, uh, everyone, uh, including the locals, local police, local security forces of Al-Ambar, taking part into this. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm not revealing a secret by telling you there are many uh, of the PMF members who've been sentenced in Iraq for crimes during the war, including, of course, some in our own security forces. Uh, I give zero tolerance for any excess against human rights.